I play Meg, who is um, a career obsessed and who is a little bit older and um, forgets to um, realizes one day that she might want to have a baby, and um, because she hasn't really been paying attention to um, her her clock her what is it, what is it called biological, Bi clock. biological clock because she's been so busy taking care of her little sister mm -hmm. and um, obsessing on her career mm -hmm. hmm. I play Alice who um, is sort of codependent and <gasps> has always been in a relationship or dependent on her older sister to like take care of her or make her feel better or get things done for her sort of needy and then she decides to not do that anymore but doesn't realize how hard it's gonna be and then she overcomes her fears mm -hmm. and her shortcomings and she becomes a real woman mm. in the world in America <laughs> <laughs> so you both this is a great cast by the way and there's a lot of great chemistry on on the screen but you two have to prominent relationships. Can you talk a little bit about, first we'll start with your relationship with Robin played by Rebel and mm -hmm. just talk about what that relationship is about and a little bit about working with Rebel. Um, Alice meets Rebel's character Robin in their workplace and she's sort of uh, just a maniac and they, they go on um, lots of adventures. Now, talk about uh, working with um, Christian as a director. Did he give you a, a little bit of license to improvise mm. some of the scenes in the film? Yeah, he did. Mm -hmm. He was um, he was open to that, and um, but uh, um, and with Dana Fox was on the set every day, and she's one of the writers and producers. And uh, she she would write alts while while we were doing the scene and um, and yell out ideas for us and um, uh, alt lines and um, yeah so there was a there it was kind of loose ish at times <clears throat> and sometimes not but he was great he's like the energizer bunny yeah. he has a lot of energy he's um, always he like super excited to be there and. Um, we think he's still working on the movie right yeah, now. Yeah, we York. think he's still in New York, <laughs> still filming, and he's like, "Guys, you're coming to set." Guys, <laughs> hello, guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> Is that good? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> now no. the stories, even though it's a, a rom it's a romantic comedy, but it's got a lot of messages in it with these stories in it. So. What do you hope that audiences w will take away from this? I think that it, obviously, I think it's going to people are going to find it very relatable in all ages, mm -hmm. adult ages. So, what do you hope that they walk away from after seeing this? <clears throat> I hope people, mostly young women, feel encouraged and positive about being happy with themselves and proud of themselves and and free and able to just themselves so. to enjoy the time in your life before you you know get married and have kids and and just like cherish that time because I mean you might decide to stay single forever but if you get into a, a relationship then um, it's uh, I don't know it's like a it's a special time that people sometimes don't appreciate or they take it for granted mm -hmm. and they um, kind of skip past it but I think it's important to just enjoy that time and live it up and to not feel like your identity relies on you attaching yourself to another person 